Welcome back to a new video in which we complete building our luxurious rental car as app UI. So let's first see what we did in the previous video. So if you didn't watch that, please go and watch it so you could catch up with us. What we did is we built this top bar and also this section with the title and these two texts in here. But they has stayed so we can make whatever behind this blurred. And then of course, all of this in a scaffold. And then we build this really complex item. It's quite complex and it took quite some time to build with a lot of things going on in there. So we built this. Now what we are going to do is creating the lazy column in which we have these items, as you can see here, all of them. And then we will build this bottom bar. And you can support me to continue making these videos by subscribing and leaving a like to this video. And if you want to learn building industry level Android apps and cater backends, building complex Compose UI using clean architecture, databases and more, then check out the premium course that you will find in the description. So now let's go to our car list right here in which now we are going to create our lazy common. That's simply going to be a lazy common like this. And maybe I first need to create some space down here. This will take this modifier and then content padding is going to be padding values from the top. It's going to be my padding values. What was it? I did not pass that. So padding values of type padding values dot calculate top padding. Why? Because this two bar takes some space. So we want to push our items in the lazy common by that space that the top bar took, which we get from this padding value that we get from the scaffold. So what is that right here? So we also maybe need to pass that, but we'll do that later. Let's just continue with our car list. And then from the bottom to just add this extra padding from the bottom here, bottom, let's say 90.dp. Okay. Now we will have items in index like this. This will take my luxurious cars. And then here I get the index and the car. So I want to call my car item like this, passing my car. Okay, I also want to pass a modifier to it. So right here, modifier is going to be modifier dot fill max width. And then I can give it a height, let's say dot height of 230 dot dp. Great, because I suppose in the preview, that's exactly what I also gave it in the height. Yeah, so 230 dp. After every item, we want a little bit of a space. So down here, we could put a spacer over height, say 22.dp. We can go to our main activity in which we need now the padding values right here. So padding values, and then we want to pass that. Padding values is going to be padding values or inner padding. That's what it's called in here. And in my car list, padding values is going to be my padding values. I guess I don't want to assign that to the box right here. I want to remove it from there. And that's it. Now we can check our app. Let's rerun it and see if we actually see our items now. And yes, we do, as you can see, but I seem to have a little bit of a space in here. I'm not sure why. Maybe let's go to the car list where we push the item from the top by this space. Let's add more like 20 dp or 22. Oops, like this 22. And then when we scroll down, as you can see, what's behind this is blurry, which is exactly what we wanted. And it works just great. There is this extra line here. I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. I'm going to try removing that. Is it the background right here? Nope, it's not. It's quite weird because honestly, I don't know where this extra color there, whatever that is, because when I remove the pager, it's gone. But if I go to the pager and then let's say it's in these lines, I try to remove the lines, it's not gone. The spacer, okay. It's actually this spacer. I'm not sure, let's just try giving it a transparent background. That's going to solve the problem because I didn't have that before. Nope, it still has the problem. Okay, let's just remove it and let's see what I can do because it's a bit of a weird issue maybe in this row because we didn't have that with this spacer. Let's just add a modifier to this one. Modifier dot padding from the bottom by 16 dot dp. Yeah, the issue is fixed now. Somehow that spacer was showing that. Okay, 
anyway we have now our items the last thing we want to do is adding the bottom bar so inside the box right here we're going to create it so let's say bottom bar okay we'll take quite a big modifier modifier like this the first thing is we want to we want to fill the max width clearly and then we want to give it some padding horizontally which is 26.dp that's what i found the best so we could see actually what we are going to build which is this one which is also transparent and it makes whatever that is behind it blurred and then we want to align it to the bottom of our box so alignment dot uh, actually not center but bottom starts so bottom starts and then we want to give it some padding from the bottom only so we could push it up a little bit by 26.dp and then we want to give it the has child again just like this first one and that is going to be state is going to be my has state and then the shape since we have a rounded bottom bar so we also want to give it a rounded corner shape by 26.dp now let's create this in a different file like this i have a okay i was, I was like i have an error because i don't have this bottom bar so composable bottom bar bottom bar like this now the error is gone and let's see what we need since we have items clearly we need a data class for that and the list and let me just paste those because there is no point of writing them a bottom bar item with a title icon is it selected or not which one of these is selected and then the items home analytics maybe we have analytics twice and settings maybe i could make this account i don't know because we have analytics twice so account and here i count which one could i go for maybe this one and let's get started with it we already get this bottom bar or bottom up bar from compose but we don't really want to use those we'll create our own version of this so that is a row that takes our modifier modifier we want to clip this to give it rounded corner shape of 26.dp import dp and then padding horizontally 14.dp this is just for the first item and then the last one to push them a little bit to the inside we want to give it a vertical alignment alignment dot center vertically and then horizontal arrangement arrangement dot space around which means just filling as much space as we can in the row and then inside it we will have these items so that's going to be first of all my butter bar items which is list for each so for each one we'll create this item we can definitely have that in a separated uh, function or composable but let's just have it in here honestly and that is if it dot is selected then it will look like something else it will look like something else as you can see the selected one has this little border so let's do that that's going to be a box take some modifier and let's go to a new line dot size of 38.dp and then give it a border width of 1.dp and then color is going to be white for the border so color dot white and then the shape of it is going to be around its corner shape of 14 dot not 13 but 14 dot dp that's it we want to clip it right now so now we are only clipping the border now the actual box so again round its corner shape 14 dot dp not 12 but 14 and then we want to give it a background which is the blur color okay that we already know about from the color file we want to center the content in inside it so content alignment alignment dot center like this and then inside it we'll have our icon and it's exactly like this import that icon is my icon description or content description is the title the color is white i just want to give it a size that's what's missing modifier dot size of 28.dp that's it when it's not selected then it's only the icon like this and i think that's it actually did we call that we did let's go to our app uh, that's what we are working on which is this one now we have the top bar we have the items let's run it and see if we can actually see now our bottom bar or not 
we do see it and we it does make everything transparent but for the padding maybe maybe this one sh is supposed to be vertical i'm not sure honestly yeah and yes this is how it looks like now i make home select it if i go here and i make this one for oops false as it's not selected and i make account select it true and then i rerun the app now account is supposed to be selected yep as you can see it is and that's it we built this ui that is right now identical to the original one so you learned how to do all these things creating custom button bars top bars these blurring stuff and complex very complex items like this one as you can see we have a lot of stuff going on and you successfully built this again this is just ui if you want to build ui along with functionality in a solid industry level app check out my premium course in which you will build a large scale app and also learn skills that you would need in the real world in the industry of android so this is for this video see you in the next video and bye